RC Action Australia. So on today's video, I'm gonna bring you something totally different that we haven't had on the channel before. As you can see, we've got ourselves a Kyosho remote control car. So we've got the Kyosho Tomahawk, uh, which is obviously a two-wheel drive off-road racer buggy, I guess you could call it. So why did I go for the Kyosho? As you see guys, a lot of people have checked out my channel before. We've, you know, you've noticed that everything's been Tamiya. Um, I just wanted something a little bit different, um, not only for me to build, but obviously for, to show you guys out there watching um, and just sort of help my channel grow, uh, basically to just diversify a little bit. So if anyone wants to see any other cars or any other type of RC products like boats and whatnot, Chuck some comments down below, guys, because I really want to put some content out there that, um, that people are interested in watching. So, I guess, just quickly, the Kyosho was never really on my radar. Um, they were always a little bit more pricey than the Tamiya. And just from generally, yeah, just quickly looking at this kit, um, there's, there's a couple of things that really stand out to me, is um, the quality. So there's a lot of metal alloy parts in this kit. So, and I'll show you those when we, when we bring the camera in closer, guys. I guess the downside to this kit is there's no electronics included, so no speed controller, no motor. Um, so I have actually purchased a Kyosho um, G20 uh, stock motor. So I've got no idea about this motor other than I just assume that it's a single wind 20 turn motor. So if anyone out there's got any more information, chuck the comments down below, guys. So I'll bring the camera in and we'll show you a the unboxing. So here's the box, guys. As you can see, it's my first ever Kyosho, like I mentioned before. The box is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'll just show you the lid of the box here. We'll get that off, sorry, guys. So lovely uh, box art. Um, and it, it actually has like a vintage look and a bit of a vintage patina about the box as you can see uh, some close-ups of the chassis there and some electronics um, we've got the beautiful picture on the front what have we got on the side here we've got just some more pictures of the car in action plus finished there so it, it actually looks like a very nice um, car so if we look at the box there guys um, the first thing that really, really, really blows me away about this is the actual quality of what's in the box and how it's laid out. It reminds me of some of the older vintage to me a kits that I've um, come across in my time. So um, just I guess when you're looking at the blister packs. So one very nice feature that really stands out is Kyosho has gone to a lot of effort to sort of showcase the parts of the car. So we've got the um, the body shell here. So that's all pre-cut. Um, so not overly sure if Kyosho do that for every single car that they they have. I've seen um, some other channels build some other cars, like uh, Gavin's recently built his Turbo Optima, where he had to cut the body out. So maybe. On the sort of this may be a little bit more of a beginner kit possibly so they've um, Kyosho have um, cut that body out the other thing that uh, we've got here we'll take this one out it seems to want to come out first is we've got a lot of aluminium um, front and rear axles we've got our um, differential gear so the other interesting thing about this too guys this kit is Kyosho has gone to the effort to, I guess, put together the oil shocks, put together the differentials, um, I guess just, just to make it easier for the, um, for the buyer to, I guess, put this car together. Um, if we look at this part here, yeah, that's obviously going to be our rear gearbox assembly. So that's all put together as well. We've got our... Um, wheels and tires they're already pre-mounted um, yeah so that all looks quite nice there and what else have we got in here so that was the you know look at look at the effort that's gone into that guys that's the actual that's just a box dedicated for the body to sit in 
So as you can see, I'm very, very happy with the, the quality and what Kyosho has done in presenting this. So what else have we got here? We've got a, we've got all of our stickers um, and we've got the instruction manual on the back here. Now, as I said, I've never built a Kyosho, but just from looking at some other videos on some other channels, the instructions seem to be, you know, I guess the parts bags and things like that are totally different to, to Mia. So that'll be interesting. And the other cool feature I'm finding here too is, it's probably not coming across on the camera there guys, is the stickers are actually pre-cut, so it will be a lot easier to mount them on the body. And what else have we got here? So we have got a box. So we've got a plastic bag, that's nice. Um, so that looks, looks like some plastic parts. As I said, I've never built a Kyosho, so I really don't know what they are. But that looks, looks like a roll cage and the back part of the motor there. And we've got the driver arm's um, head. Okay, so here's some more of that lovely alloy parts that I was talking earlier about, guys. So it looks like the chassis rails and some other suspension parts there. We have got... Um, a battery strap, which is quite nice. It's got the Kyosho um, printed on there. And we've got like a metal metal chassis plates by the look of it. And well, we've got a driver figure, so that's nice. It's got a driver figure there, so we'll be able to paint that up with the body. And we've got a whole bag of um, metal parts gearbox parts. And the other thing too guys that's really really nice, uh, I don't know if you can see that through the plastic, is that this car comes with full ball bearings uh, and I believe that it comes with multiple, what's in the box here, some like shock oil, um, maybe some spare parts, some bearings, what else have we got in here, so, oh there we go. So I was reading online, guys, that this car does come with some different gears uh, and pinion options, so you can change your gearing. So the motor, just while we've got the camera here, guys, so this is the motor I was talking about, the G20 single Kyosho stock motor. So if you can see in there, guys, it's got a fan. So it's obviously got a cooling fan in the back of the engine, which will be nice. Um, and I just figured that sitting in the back of the car, it would be nice to actually have, you know, Kyosho written on the motor. So that's the only reason I kind of bought this motor. Um, and as I said, the car does say um, only to put a 30 to 27 turn motor in it. So, um, but I've seen people running brushless setup. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, the unboxing and what was in the kit, guys. Um, as you can see from that, full of a lot of um, really, really nice quality parts. So I'm really enjoying, um, sorry, really enjoying, really looking forward to, sorry, um, putting this kit together and getting this running and having something different on the channel. So um, unfortunately, this is my Christmas present from the wife. So this will be being wrapped up, put under the Christmas tree for another week. Um, and then obviously we'll get this built in the new year. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, um, hit like, your support is very much appreciated. Um, and I'm currently working on a few run videos, so hopefully we've got some new content coming soon guys. But in the meantime, check out the link above. Um, that's an old video of mine of this stadium raider um, bashing around the park. So check that out. Um, Hope you enjoyed what you've been looking at so far on the channel and I really look forward to um, bringing you obviously the Tomahawk and I'm probably going to get a few other Kyosho kits. So as always guys, hit like, subscribe and thank you very much for watching.